makeover slash mega tidy um, the configuration of the barn where everyone stores stuff is being changed so um, there won't be storage there anymore so the yard owner has said if I clean the loft above my stable I can use that for storage so <laughs> the task for the next week is go up there clean everything out I think there's quite a lot up there clean it put all of my stuff up there which I think will be an absolute mission, but once it's up there, it's up there. Um, and then I'm gonna pressure wash the stable and give everything a nice, clean, ready for the, the next week is meant to be quite warm, so it can all dry off. So here we go. I've already bought a ladder that can like pull out and attach so that when I walk up there, I like pull back when I'm carrying things on a ladder and I don't want it to tip back. But at the moment we've just got a normal ladder. Um, it does have a light up there, but the bulb is gone. So let's go up. Are you going in? Yeah. And then I think we can move. We won't be able to see a thing. I think we can move that, and we'll have a bit of light. Yeah. Don't be like spiders. Oh god. Oh wow! Look at how dusty it is. Okay, put that out of the way. Yeah, so there's quite a lot up here. I think it's gonna take some tidying. Number one. What? <laughs> my face under the hose it was so dusty um so this is all the stuff that needs to go up there um and needs to go because this whole corner like my feed is going to stay here i'm not going to go up and down a ladder for feed every day um but like all of this because this whole corner is going to turn into the feed room we did used to have a feed room but then it got turned into a stable um so yeah i think getting it all that was Dan. Getting it all up there is going to be the hard part. But at least it's like like a nice space. I'm excited to kind of make it over, make it a nice storage, probably put some racking in. We'll see. But first of all, I'm going to put this in the stable, at the bottom of the stable, really make sure the top is clean, then get everything up and then pressure wash the bottom of the stable because it's so dusty now.
lifting. I was a physio, I should know better. That was all back, no legs. Um, done! Well, stage one done. Um, <laughs> still with farting in the background. Let's put that in there for now. So this will have rubber matting put down, I think, and turned into like the feed roomy bit. I mean, my horses need to eat a considerable amount of feed before I can lift that. Might have to like take it all out, put it in one bucket, and then move it and put it all back in. I don't, I don't know. I know everything needs a bit of a clean, but at least all my stuff is out of here now. Um, We'll put it all in the bottom so that we can put it up when, I, when the dust settles. So we, we wore a mask and goggles, but it's very dusty. So we'll wait for it to settle, have a take two of cleaning it out again, and then put everything up. I think putting everything up, I, I think I've said it so many times now, but I think that's gonna be the hard part. Then once it's up, I can't wait to like organize it all and make it all cozy, and lovely. <laughs> Why are you moving in? Maybe, maybe she'll have a camp bed up there and I could, I could sleep with Tizzy in the winter. She'll like heat me from below. I'd want to be in there with Tizzy actually, or snuggled in with her. Yeah, I love organising. This is like, this is my jam. Just need to go feed the ponies and we'll be back another day. Day two, I've just given it another sweep to get the last of the dust out. And now I'm going to organise everything down here, ready to go up. So I want to have a bit of a ruthless cull of all my stuff. I mean, I'm quite good at going through it quite regularly anyway, but anything that I am not willing to put effort in to put it up there, we are not keeping. So I'm gonna start having a little sort through. Um, I think I'm gonna need down to some of the bigger stuff, but I reckon most of the small boxes I can take up myself. So let's start organizing the fun bit. It's actually quite impressive that apart from attack and what's in my lorry, this is all I have for three horses. Okay, buckets. I tell you, lidded buckets, so handy for going away. Now, how many do I actually need? That's got, that's got some sugar beet in it. They can go, I'm going to keep that one because that is super handy for going for rides. Okay, it's got some singles, shims. Bandages. There's my complex. I used to go home to Mandy. Never know when you're gonna need them. Pen knife. Rug bags. Stable rugs. These are all my cool shoes. I've done this recently. Quite impressed with past me because there's not much to organise. Um, just um, my electric fencing box, big reel, little reel, charges, electric fencing unit, posts. I've still got some out in service. Um, I think we're ready to start going up. First thing I'm going to do is take this shelf up so the boxes, some of the boxes can be on the shelf because I want it to look nice and organised and not just be sprawled out everywhere. I want it to be neat. <laughs> I've got as much up here as I can by myself. Um, all my crew kit here. So this is all crew kit I just use for racing. Um, I know, so much, but actually we do use all of it. It's all labeled and stuff. So I'm gonna cover that with a sheet still because unfortunately, I don't think I'll be racing for a while. So 
So that's going to be covered with a sheet. These are like my spare yard buckets, winter buckets, Tizzy's winter feeds, going away feed buckets, electric fence, uh, bits and bobs, kind of horse care stuff, my clippers, then in here is all like the medically type boots, so magnetic boots, overreach boots, um, ice boots. Then I've got my infrared imaging camera that I use um, to have a look at how injuries are doing, if there's any inflammation and heat anywhere post hard sessions. And these are my kind of not regularly used boots box. Um, each horse will have a bucket underneath its saddle with any boots that they use. I try not to use boots when possible. I like to keep their legs clean and um, cool. There's a big boot debate, isn't there? Um, when I need to use them, I will. And I feel like for the the con of the leg heating up to the pro of if they, like something gets them and the boot protects them from something in training, do they weigh up? I'm not sure. But anyway, boots that I regularly use, so one set per horse, of when they do wear them will go in the tack room. So I'm just gonna put this sheet on and then I will show you what I've got left um, that I will need help with to bring up. These five boxes is all I have left. So they are my heavyweight rugs, lightweight rugs, fly rugs, um, coolers and like stable rugs and other rugs that don't go in those categories. And then this box is full of my like competition sheepskin and all of that stuff did quite well i think oh i just need to put the yard owners um toboggans snow sleds 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 up there day three it's time to attach the ladder it's definitely a ladder it needs to go there i hope it's long enough i always use a bucket or oh, like a box i guess if it's not is that enough? Oh yeah, it can go another bit there too. Oh, I've got some sort of ladder tangle. I'd say yes, it's high enough. Definitely. It's like through the roof then. Yeah, we're good. We're good. Yay! everything up all the rugs that's all the fly and waterproof rugs I have for all three horses and then all of the travel rugs cooler rugs other rugs and then bits and bobs I've been through it all before but actually I think considering under there is all crew kit so it's endurance specific I don't have that much stuff considering how long I've had horses and I have <laughs> oh, excuse me it's dusty. I have three horses now. I think that's not an insane amount of stuff. So the next step is to pressure wash. Don't worry, I will not pressure wash 
where the birdies are, but I need to get my stable nice and clean and fresh again. So day four, shouldn't have worn a white t-shirt for this. It's too testy. But day four, we're gonna clean the stable. Today is the day of the stable clean out. I'm gonna take everything out. First off, I'm gonna put the bedding, I'm gonna just tip it out in the lorry for now and then bring it back in when everything is dry. And I'm going to pressure wash. Don't know again. White t-shirt was a really bad idea, wasn't it? But let's get started. washing. I am so dirty. <laughs> Look at this. Oh, you can't really see on camera. If I go in really close, you can. Megan. Um, right, I've put a few bits in here that I want to clean off because they're all dusty from being in here. Round one done. Um, looking much better already. It needs a good, a good go, a good scrubbing. And then another swoosh once I've done these bits. Um, I'm gonna give it a good scrub with like a G's fluid, like an antiseptic fluid. Because my bedding is so good, underneath is actually really dry. Um, so hopefully it all dries out and I don't actually need to take them all out. But now, let's give all of this a little bit of a spruce up because it's looking dusty. <laughs> Not everything is dry, but this is all like stuff that is waterproof. It'll dry anyway. Um, and then got my groom boxes back here, bits and bobs, washing down stuff. Um, that's my travel tail bandages, uh, disinfectant for the stable, treats for stretches, and the bucket that goes over the door when I use the equilibrium pad. So now all I have to do is wait for everything to dry, and then the soft, non waterproof stuff like the rugs and things can come back in. But I'm really pleased with how it is looking so far. I might see if they still have the um, paint for the doors and just touch up a little bit because I've really chewed it. So if we've got the paint, we'll do that. If not, not much you can do about it. But yeah, smelling much fresher. Oh my God, there was so much dust that came from like the top loft down and just, it was very, very dusty. So I can't wait to go home and have a shower. So hopefully we'll be back for day five of the stable makeover type thing. Um, and it'll all be dry, I can put it all away and it'll all be lovely. Might even get a couple more boxes to put my spare bits and bobs up there as well. I'm so, oh God, so dusty. Finishing touches time slash putting everything back in. 
we're not going to be able to paint the doors because it's meant to rain for four days and the paint will just come off so we'll just bring everything back in and then we shall be done my bum bag rose head collar stethoscope can go there and then Astrid's head collar Astrid so literally only the rugs le left to put up there and we are done okay but need to repair does anyone else spend their life Repairing fly masks, sewing the ears back on. No, just me. Can't beat Stemtex, the best. So let's just put those in the middle. Perfect. Let me see the car. Ta da! Done. One stable made over. We'll wait till it's sunny again to paint the doors and things. I'm really pleased actually, it's quite nice to have like, it's like a pony penthouse? No, what's the word for when there's a, another floor? It's like a dormer stable. I don't know, it's cool anyway. <laughs> Esther will be happy. She loves coming in and munching hay. <laughs> <laughs>